The United States will provide a new $275 million military aid package for Ukraine to help the beleaguered country repel Russia's assault on Kharkiv, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said in a statement. The package includes high-mobility artillery rocket systems, or HIMARS, munitions as well 155mm and 105mm high-demand artillery rounds. Additional items in the aid package include Javelin and Net, for anti-tank systems, anti-tank mines, tactical vehicles, small arms and ammunition for those weapons. Assistance from previous packages has already made it to the front lines, and we will move this new assistance as quickly as possible so the Ukrainian military can use it to defend their territory and protect the Ukrainian people," the statement said. With this latest package, the US has now provided almost $51 billion in military assistance to Ukraine since Russia invaded in February 2022. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the package is critical as Russia intensified its attacks along the front line. In Kharkiv, I witnessed firsthand the importance of strengthening our warriors in order to protect our people, our cities, and our communities," said Zelensky. Zelensky plans visit to France to ask NATO to shoot down Russian missiles over Ukraine. President Volodymyr Zelensky plans to attend June's D-Day commemorations in France, followed by a G7 meeting in Italy, where he will ask Ukraine's partners to shoot down Russian missiles over Ukraine, provide more assistance to Ukraine's armed forces and seize Russian assets. Politico reported this, citing two people familiar with the president's plans. The Ukrainian president's schedule could always change, both people emphasized. But if all goes to plan, Zelensky is expected to use this trip to call, as he has in recent interviews, for more military support from the West and ask for NATO to shoot down Russian missiles like the United States and the United Kingdom did when Iran attacked Israel. Zelensky will also demand that the US and European countries seize Russian assets to help fund Ukraine's defense and eventual reconstruction, Politico reported. The newspaper notes that Zelensky's plans are particularly noteworthy as he has recently cancelled foreign trips because Russia launched a large-scale offensive in Kharkiv Oblast. Ukraine is also in desperate need of continued support and global attention, and the trip would give him time with world leaders, including President Joe Biden, to plead his nation's case, Politico wrote. Zelensky plans to travel to Italy for the G7 summit after he visits France. The newspaper recalls that for months, members of the group have been debating the feasibility of using hundreds of billions of seized Russian assets to strengthen Ukraine's defense and economy, citing legal difficulties and fears that Moscow could do the same to Western countries. The United States and the United Kingdom have strongly supported the idea, while some European members, such as Germany, are more skeptical. The issue roiled an earlier G7 meeting of finance ministers where European Central Bank chief Christine Lagarde argued forcefully against the full seizure of Russian assets to loan to Ukraine. Zelensky would likely use the opportunity with heads of state and governments to try to convince the doubters, Politico concluded. Radio Free Europe published a photo from May 23 over the Kushchevskia Air Base in the Krasnodar territory. The photos confirm the reports that appeared earlier about the destruction of the Su-27. In another part of the air base, a damaged Su-34 fighter can be seen in a photo taken after the strike. We see that there is an Su-34 with damaged or removed wings, and a clearly damaged Su-27 in another part of the airfield. The Su-30, which has hardly changed its position since May 11 and was next to the damaged Su, could also be damaged. 27-inch, said the aviation expert. Drones of Ukraine's state security service attacked the Kushchevskia air base and the Slavyansk oil refinery in Russia's Krasnodar region on the night of May 18-19. 
SBU launched a drone attack on the airfield jointly with the unmanned systems forces. The interlocutor noted that there were dozens of different aircraft at the airport at the time of the attack, including Su-34s, Su-25s, Su-27s, and MiG-29s. In addition, the management of the Slavyansk oil refinery stated that after several loud explosions the plant stopped its operations and they were now assessing the extent of damage. This is already the SBU's second drone attack on the Kushchevskia air base and the Slavyansk oil refinery in the past three weeks. Earlier, several aircraft were hit at the airfield, and at the oil refinery, the drones hit the fractionating and atmospheric distillation columns.